yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Talking yes. about getting Israel out of yes. the other nations. But then it says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yes. Showing you that the two thirds is still mm -hmm. of the nation of Israel yeah. ain't gonna make it. Yeah. That's what the harvest is all about. Mm -hmm. When it says the threshing, that, uh, the sickle, the, the time of threshing, mm -hmm. the Lord's gonna basically uh, separate the, the elect from the rest of the nation. All right, and, and right now the sifting process is through the word. The word is gathering the elect. All right, if you, if you spoke up against the doctrine, you don't have Yahweh shine, which ultimately means you don't have the most high with you. Like it says in 2 John uh, verse 9 and 10, you transgress and you, you, you don't abide in the doctrine of Yahweh shine, you have not uh, Yahweh shine or the Father. Neither, neither, and if, and if, and if so, guess what? You're not bidding. Uh, you're not to be bidding God's fee either. Mm -hmm. All right. The Lord's re He's rejecting the two thirds. Yep. All right. So they're in trouble. They're they're going they're in punishment. All right. The Lord remember what they did two thousand years ago. Shit. The Lord remembers them even from the uh, the wilderness. Yeah. Those same two thirds in the wilderness that 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 talk shit and murmured against. Uh, Moses. Moses and Aaron. Yeah, made the calf. Yeah, made the calf. The Lord, the, hey, those spirits are back. Everyone's back today to receive their judgment. Moses. It's that, uh, that, that generation. Yeah. You know, that last generation that's here back on the earth who, who committed those wicked things, who gave up the Lord. Yeah. Killed right? all the prophets. They, they, yeah. they gave up the Lord. They chose murderers. You know, they chose to be evil. They were selling out to, yeah. to, to the Romans and all type of stuff, yeah. man. They made a, a covenant with the heathen during the time of the Greeks. Yeah. All, yeah. all the yeah. wicked souls, man. This yeah. is the wicked priesthood that was selling out. Yeah. That, that, all that is back, man. Yeah. You know? They all back. And their, and their names are not written in the book of life. Daniel 12 and 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. As the elect, as the prophets, 144,000 are going to be prophets, are going to be teachers. Okay? And, and, and those that, they said they said had the light, right? The light is the, is the wisdom, you know? That's, and that, that's, the, that's the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, bro. The office of the prophet that's the that's the highest job you know yeah. that's the yeah. highest calling an uh, israelite man can receive from the Messiah yahweh yeah. through his son yahweh shai but nevertheless even the one-third for believing on the prophets for get a prophet's reward so I gotta be oh, you, you did, that's yeah. it. so for believing in the prophets they're going to receive that salvation also yeah. you know because they 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 believe the message they got themselves right, you know. They they repented. And really, they believed on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that these men were sent with the message from the Lord to uh, to to um, you know to proclaim His truth. All right, because they, they they believe on the prophets because they believe on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, that's where that's where the belief has to come first. Kind, because the the words that we speak are not our words. Kind, yeah. This is this isn't. We didn't write this. You know, we're just the, the we're just delivering the message. We're just small vessels. So Yahweh Shai, uh, John 17, starting at 16, it says, They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify me, please. Yep. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself, that they may, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. Yeah. That, that wait, they. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, back up. Read that again. Uh, I'll read it again. It says. Neither pray I for these alone. And this Yahweh is speaking. This is a just, personal prayer. Right, not Temple just for my uh, disciples. Good. But also, yeah. right, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their words. Through their words. Yeah. Through the disciples' words. Right. Yeah. 
Because uh, look, uh, how many how many churches got built up when your house side wasn't even around? Yes, later it was, it was after. Yeah, after. Yeah, you know. But they are of the elect, and they believe. Yeah, yeah. And that's why the message came back around in the Book of Revelation to those, some of those same churches, yeah. trying to make sure that they was getting right. We talk about the apostles. How many churches were built up abroad yep. without the apostles ever stepping st a foot out the country, or right. even out of New York? Yeah. Right. You know, even though they, we know they went to different states, but some apostles ain't been in all these states where these they campuses. Went, they went that was established. They didn't yeah. go to go God. established. They went once it was established in certain yeah. churches to make sure they were touching base. That's why the Lord created the internet. Good. Hey. Yep. Unicorn, as they call it in those yep. they, they, We're not just delivering bad news, also. You know, we got good news. Yep. Yeah. You know, this is good news. You hear these these words, and you should be rejoicing that you're part of this, that the Lord called you unto this. Because we should be giving praises all day, every day. We cannot, there's no, there's not enough praises we can send up. Yes, we need more people sitting as many as they can you know? yeah. Because we're in a great position right now, as long as we endure to make it out of this place. Hey, as long as you continuing in this, you're you're in a safe place. Yeah. Yeah. You're safe, man. You're, you're in the secret, uh, secret place. You're in the secret place of the Lord, man. Hidden. So you want to fight to protect and, and, and keep that good standing yep. by the time the Lord shows up. Really? Right. You know? Uh, uh, finishing on, it says, Verse 21, that they all may be one. Talking about the disciples and those that, that, that come into the uh, uh, through their words. Through their words, they come into the truth. Yeah, well, that one body, one baptism. Con. One faith, one baptism. It says that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Right. That world. It's, it's, it's talking about the, the, the cosmos, all right, which there's, Israel is a, is a cosmos within itself, but the elect is a cosmos within that cosmos. The elect is, is the world. The Israel of the Most High. The Israel of the Most High. That's, that's, the, that's the world that the Lord uh, uh, loved. He loved the whole nation, but ultimately he loves his elect, man. And there's a precept to that in Wisdom of Solomon 3. And he has uh, um, care. He has care. For his care and mercy for yeah, his elect. I got a land back scripture. Uh, Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitude by the ministry of the prophets. Hey, the Lord is speaking through his prophets. The, the, the prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord right now. All right? And, you know, and you got to hearken unto the prophets. You know, the Lord is not dealing with the Christian church. He's not dealing with these false prophets out here. You're going to know who the prophets are by, by the words that they speak, but as they speak these words, as you see it manifest. Or we're speaking of, we're speaking of pestilence. All right, what do you see what's going on? Pestilence. You're speaking of food shortages. What do you see is taking place? Food shortages. We're, we're speaking of Esau coming down with great wrath. Esau coming with a sword. What do you see every other day? A Jake being gunned down in the street. Esau developing some type of device to kill you Israelites. So the words that we're speaking through the Holy Spirit, through uh, Yahweh are, are, are true. You know? You got something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I may, real quick, real you quick. Got, you got. And even though what we've been saying is now is now come to pass, it's not like the brother's been saying, it's not us. Yeah, no. right. It's the, the Spirit of the Lord speaking through us. All right, and we know that the Lord, he already declared these things way from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He declared the end from the yeah. beginning. But it just so happens that when the Lord speaks a thing, sometimes they can be reoccurring too. Like, like when the Lord talked about the abomination of desolation. Yeah. Yeah. It was prophesied in, uh, by Prophet Daniel going all the way back to the time of uh, the Babylonian Empire. But when was it fulfilled? Within the Greek Empire during uh, the, the reign of uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. But then, hundreds of years later, by the time the Romans were in power, Yahweh Shai used that same prophecy. Right. Because it was going to happen again. Right. So the Lord, he makes this wisdom and these, these words that we uh, uh, take from the prophets of old, he makes it new in, 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 in these times. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's, it's an old prophecy, but it's new in this time because mm -hmm. it reoccurs. And there's no new thing under there's the sun. There's no new thing under what, the sun. What has there, well, has it go? See, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's like, see, is there anything that you can say this is new? Oh, yeah. Because right. it had already been a long time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's no 
what I have was going off of what he said about uh, the elect hearing without, yep. you know, this is uh, John, he taught it to Thomas, oh, yeah, yep. right? Uh, uh, how should I talk to Thomas? Let me see. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 28, 27, just a little, little context. Then said he to Thomas, reach hither thy figure and behold my hands and reach hither my hand, excuse me, thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless but believing and Thomas answered and said unto him my Lord and my power and said Yahweh said unto him Thomas because thou hast seen me thou hast believed blessed are they that have not seen and have yet believed yeah, yeah, yeah. look and many other signs truly did Yahweh shine in the presence of you know that goes with that but that was that point no 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 verse 31 to life the uh, presence of the disciples which are not written in this book but these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shai is the anointed son of the most high Yahweh and that believing ye might have life through his name yeah. and that's what the disciples were and the apostles were uh, pushing right. the belief in him through his name and his yeah. power yeah. Well, you, you know, uh, you know we're, we're uh, 2,000 years later Yahweh Shai been gone Back to the father. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, none of us never seen him. None of us on earth have seen him. But yet, we believe. Why? Because this is the testimony right here. We have the witness through this book. Quicken. All right, this word is what quickened us. Yeah. If you can believe on, on, on the truth without having to be shown proof of it, Hey, that, that the Lord gifted, he gifted you with it. Yeah, he right. get, that, that was a gift given to you, man. Um, it also says that we once knew this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. Bro. So we might have yeah. been the ones who was Ooh. back then, yeah. rolling with it. Yeah. Whether we was a part of the circle, or whether we were part of the, those who, who believed right. when they was out there doing the, uh, the teachings. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. That's, he that's heavy, but hey, because it should be heavy enough for you people to start picking yeah. up to the fact that this is for you. You need to get on board and start plowing. Mm -hmm. And also, it says that the spirit of the prophets is subject, subject to the prophets. prophets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come back in your lot. Back in your lot. Right. Somebody can get uh, Thessalonians uh, two and thirteen and can give it. Uh, God, God, God. First uh, Thessalonians two and thirteen. Because this is by the time uh, Apostle Paul, when he was, you know, on his mission, and there were certain uh, churches that was already set up. Where he would be in one uh, location, but he couldn't really get to the other, so he would just send a letter out yep. to, to, you know, set everything straight. He would send it to either, you know, put everything in order, address certain things, and also to encourage and, and commend uh, uh, certain uh, brothers and sisters that were in the church that had their testimony of faith. You know? Yeah, I've heard. Get that one real quick. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 2 and 13. For this cause also thank we the most high without ceasing, because when ye when ye received the word of the most high, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it as it is in truth, the word of the most high. Yeah, you, you didn't doubt it. You took it as uh, like we did, the apostles. When I heard the apostles, like this, I carry out like, hey, this is it. Yeah. This is it. This yeah. is what we've been looking for. This is it. He's like, I told you. Yeah. You know? Uh, hey, That's how they receive. Th this is our first love. Yeah. You know? It's connected to our spirit. This is the thing that we love the most. Right here. And we sh we're showing it through our works and through our faith. Right. You know, Lord willing, we are those men. Read it again. Read it again. Matter of fact, start, start, up a, uh, start up a couple of verses. Like, maybe, maybe start at a... Uh, yeah, Start at now. Verse, verse 9, first, first Thessalonians 2 and 9. For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail. Think, of, think about the apostles. Their labor and their travail. Mm -hmm. All them years out there where there was no fruit. Like 10. That's a long time. Yes, with no a whole life. decade with no fruit coming out. And they just out there just going through it, just watching getting into back and forth with people, black culture, getting into uh, yeah. balls, losing through because of um, people 2000. leaving, people, yeah. you know, yeah. fellow laborers yeah. that was once a part of the faith, mm -hmm. uh, leaving the church, leaving uh, the faith, yeah. you know, dealing with false brothers. You yeah. have to do, deal with all that for the sake of the, the forwarding of, of 